This video is intended to be an educational tool for healthcare workers on proper donning and doffing of personal protective equipment used in care of patients with highly infectious diseases such as Ebola. Extreme diligence in donning and doffing is critical to ensure protection from bodily fluids and transmission of disease. A buddy will also be assigned to monitor and guide the healthcare worker to ensure PPE is donned and doffed correctly. Prior to reporting, Take and record vital signs with assistance of buddy. Blood pressure, pulse, respirations, and body temperature. Be sure to be well hydrated. Assemble all personal protective equipment required before beginning donning procedure. Remove all jewelry and personal items and restrain hair as needed to avoid contamination. Put on plastic croc style shoes and apply knee length boot covers over crocs. Apply surgical hood and tie bow to rear neck with aid of buddy. Don blue fluid impervious gown ensuring hood is tucked under gown. All gown ties should be secured with simple bow with aid of buddy. Two gowns will be used if open back gowns are used. Apply N95 respirator, ensuring straps are properly located behind the neck and the crown of head. Ensure mask seal is good. Buddy will ensure proper strap placement. Dawn face shield over top of hood and N95 straps. Buddy will ensure proper coverage. Apply standard nitrile gloves and pull gown cuff down over top of gloves using thumb holes. Apply long cuff nitro gloves over top of standard gloves and over top of gown cuffs. Buddy will ensure proper glove coverage and tape glove cuffs to gown.
Good. The buddy will final inspect all PPE for proper fit and coverage before allowing healthcare worker to enter patient care area. Bleach wipe outside of long cuff gloves to remove contamination prior to leaving patient room. Exit room and stand on doffing pad. This is used to collect and reduce contamination outside of the room. Remove tape from glove cuff and gown by pulling gently on tape. Discard tape into red waste container. All PPE will be discarded in the red bag waste container. Remove outer long cuff gloves using glove in glove technique and discard in red bag waste container. Begin removing gown by cutting ties. Avoid ripping gown off to reduce aerosolization. The buddy will cut ties with trauma shears. Keep clean gown over top of gloves to avoid contaminating inner gloves. Roll gown to inside keeping dirty surfaces to the inside. Gently discard in red bag waste container. Remove leg coverings one at a time, rolling dirty side in as you remove them. After removing leg cover, step the clean area of the floor to avoid contamination. Refrain from stepping on dirty doffing pad again. Remove standard inner gloves using glove in glove technique and place in red bag waste container. Perform hand hygiene using sanitizer. Allow hand sanitizer to dry before applying new clean gloves. Apply clean nitro gloves before removing any additional PPE. Remove face shield by pulling rear of strap over the head and away from the face. Discard in red bag waste container. While holding the lower portion of N95, firmly remove the straps over top of head and place it in the red bag waste container. Remove the hood by cutting ties and pulling it up and off of the head, away from the face. Discard into red bag waste container. Fold doffing pad to inside containing possible contamination and place in red bag waste container. Remove inner gloves using glove in glove technique, discard in wet ba red bag waste container. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol based hand sanitizer. Proceed to shower placing clogs in proper decontamination container and place scrubs into soiled linen hopper. 